Bradley and Stani get into an argument about Botox. You guys been going at it a lot. Yeah, well, he's a p Yeah, because he, he said the take com I seen that he's too, a the comment. Dude, which comment? When he was like, you, you were going to go out. That was facts, bro. Yeah. That was just crazy. Like, what, what was going on? How did that? Honestly, he, he, Stani's a, a fucking private BJ on his patio after the podcast, bro. It was crazy. What'd you just say? Andrew Tate did? Well, Brad and Tate had like a private conversation. Oh, What'd you, you say, say you guys though? had a BJ? Nothing. I didn't say Say that again. Say oh, it one more time. He, I'm kidding, bro. Oh, I see what he's saying now. No, say it again. We got to talk about your Botox. Oh, shit. Because you're a p man. We got to talk about it. Looks like Stani did start the argument here. So Bradley decided to bring up the Botox story, which he knew um, Stani was pretty embarrassed about. What bothers me is like the fact that it was a one time thing. Like I was at, I was at this chick's place <laughs> and she had a. Just him even defending himself is Dude, so the is, funny. The thing is, no okay, one cares, bro, wait, bro. Let me explain yeah. the preface and what happened. So I'm okay, at fine. this chick's place, and she has an at-home appointment. And I was like, yo, you should do this. Like, it's free. Fair. And I was like, like I know, but sure. Here's, here's the deal. It's one tiny. time. It's, that's the point. No one really cares. He's just chirping you, and because it makes you so mad, he just keeps doing it. it people get Botox all the time. They do Dude, I did it one time. <laughs> I want not... this to be like a thing where it's like I'd go every week to doctor or whatever and do this. Bro, I'm bro. not saying you're doing that. And no one said that. But you doing it one time, you doing it 10 times. No one what really is Botox. The idea is so this is the thing behind Dude, Botox. This chick was like, yo, this is so you are. I had Does like, it make like your jawline better and shit? No, that's no, a different thing. I had thing. like uh, uh, wrinkles by my eye from try squinting. It and she was like, you should try this. And so I was like, Fuck I'll it. explain it. The point of Botox it is. It just like, sounds bad. Pre yeah, it sounds like you're <laughs> working sounds, on yourself. But the idea is. It sounds terrible, bro. The idea sounds really bad. Like, because you think of like Kardashians or like Caitlyn Jenner, probably. Whatever. The whole point is like men normally do this because they're trying to like anticipate the Gabe, aging process. Gabe pulled up a by what? detailed definition. But yeah, right. no, it's, 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 it's the idea is to like, so you don't do those movements. Like, you know, when you like smile, you're really expressive. You're, you're creating wrinkles. Like when you smile and she, Steve even said it like in the pod, he smiles a lot. Like you get wrinkles. The idea for the Botox is to like preemptively try not to, to like, stop the aging. No, I haven't. I would though at some point if I ever felt like I really wanted to. Now, like there's a difference between like getting a ton and like doing it to like a crazy degree, which I don't even think you did. But none of this is about that. This whole point is like who gives. That's how it starts. You take one shot of Botox, then you keep going and going and going, and then you look like Mickey Rourke wearing a Michael Myers mask. Really? Yo, can I just make a point? Go, you can make like, a point. You, not you should have just off? replied to that tweet in like a funny way, and you probably would have got a shit ton of. Exactly. You probably would have got a shit ton of likes. I don't really on it. use Twitter, but yeah. But um, how come like I do that? Just happen to do it one time. Not a big deal. Move Hold on. on. I don't use but, Twitter. Like, the guy who's... you like. If you do any PED enhancing shit, you get praised for it. Who gets praised for that? It's typically viewed now as like a, a feminine thing to do. That's why I think. It's like women do that. That's what people <laughs> look at it. Actually, it's preventative. For exactly. Males, that's what for I'm males saying. as well, Bradley. I, bro, I'm defending you. I'm helping you. So and I'm trying to tell you at the same it's time. It's actually like, you know what? You don't, anybody can do it. Look, why not? Look. Look how many times he texts me. Bro, what? Why? Like... I just got to show Kyle. I just want to show Kyle, dude. <laughs> I didn't realize. It's like... Showing text now, huh? No, I'm not putting on the screen. I'm just showing Kyle's personally. Okay, now go ahead. You had some to say, apparently. You look at his face. I mean, you just Dude, lost me. I just you showed from, like, You went show... from, like, good friend of mine to, like, bro, I kind of don't like this guy. I can't trust bro, him. Bro, I defend you. I don't know who I he is I defend anymore. you all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, like the clip, please like and subscribe.